three or four meters deep. Dwarfs used to dive from the ceiling into the swimming pool. Elephants swam there, seals, sea lions, they had Russian giants, they had African pygmies. Charlie Chaplin was in the cast on the opening night. Houdini, when he first came to the UK in 1904, chose the Hippodrome because it was the place to be. And actually, just next to the, the host desk for the restaurant, there's a picture on the wall, and you can see some of this. It's, um, it was 1902 London Illustrated News, and there's a guy called Eddie Gifford, a one-legged cyclist, riding off the top of the ceiling arch down into the water tank, completely barking mad. Anyway, the, um, that whole water tank led circus era went through to 1909. Then they covered over the water tank and turned the building into a conventional music hall. But it still had the English premiere at Swan Lake here in 1910. It had the first jazz, any jazz fans? The first jazz ever played in the UK was here in 1919, the Dixieland Jazz Band. Uh, 20s, 30s, 40s was kind of music hall era, nothing too wild. Late 50s, a man called Charles Forte, the hotelier, 40 hotels, uh, turned the building into a venue called Talk of the Town. And as Talk of the Town, it had acts like Stevie Wonder, Sammy Davis Jr., Ella Fitzgerald, Tom Jones, Cliff Richard, Louis Armstrong, and all of that era performed here. It really was the, the place to perform. Um, and that was brilliant until television took over. And when all the entertainment moved to TV, another, um, this building needed another lease of life, and along came Peter Stringfellow, who turned the building into Stringfellow's Nightclub, which in the 1980s was the first super club in the UK. It was tr truly brilliant. It was so-so as a nightclub in the 90s, and it was absolutely horrid in the noughties, and it lost its alcohol license, which was great for me. So in 2005, this building had lost its alcohol license. It was 104 years old, 105 years old, and it was in a bit of a state of decay. Um, and there was a change in the gaming legislation at that point. And for the first time, the UK were allowed casinos where you were allowed to advertise, allowed to promote, allowed to have live entertainment, allowed to have alcohol on the gaming floor, and you don't have to be a member. So there was a massive sea change for casinos. And this building, for me, was just the perfect building. It is location, location, location. The front door you probably walked in um, has 250,000 people a day walking past. The back door, which was the original stage door where the elephants used to come in in 1900, um, goes straight to Chinatown. We're directly above Leicester Square Tube Station. So from a casino point of view, it was perfect. So I got the building. It took three years to get planning and licensing. And uh, I started work physically on site in 2009, July 2009, and spent three years and just over 45 million pounds gutting this building also taking the building next door, which was called Cranbourne Mansions, building up where the bar is out there. That was actually a light well, and built a building up the middle there, and knocked it all through to create, which is something which is actually Westminster's largest licensed premises. Uh, we are 75,000 square feet. We have five floors. We have six bars, uh, best steakhouse in London, and I'll tell you, nothing worse than overpromising in London delivering. Our steaks are fantastic. <laughs> And that is under-promising, I can assure you they're that good. Um, and um, we have a cabaret theatre. Tonight, tonight we have, well, me. Uh, tomorrow night we have a lady called Despina Bandi, who is the top Greek um, performer. Friday, Saturday, we've got a lady called Christina Bianco. And if you haven't seen her, she is magical. She's pint-sized Broadway superstar, and she's just brilliant. And then on Sunday, we have an act which we're not even going to announce till Saturday morning, because we can't, and he will sell out in 20 minutes. And we have that sort of stuff going on here, it's really kind of cool. Um, the, the, the week the pre 